on this upcoming arrogant. Ooh, Keep in I mean, mind, they, they got up first place in the first with 24 seconds. illums, yep. and then a second place with 13 illums. Can they get a top three in this next Aaron go? Uh, I'm gonna say no. We're gonna break it, and I think they they're gonna have a hard one here. But you're also gonna see our fantastic playing path for this one. Obviously, brought to you by Sony Xperia, their official smartphone partner here for this event here at Gamers 8. Thank you so much for joining us. But this plane path here, it's going to go over the southwestern side on the military base here, Seven, and it's going to go over to Georgia Pole. There's so much hard terrain that is not going to be able to be reached without a long rotation with a car. We're talking prison. We're talking Milta. We're talking Esnaya. Yep. Maybe even Cerveny is going to be a hard one with a rotation uh, far. So let's see what happens. But so far, as we've been seeing and what we've been talking about, Falcons, and Vampire, they have been doing so well. I'm so happy to see that a home turf hero here is going to be able to step it up and right now be in second place. Uh, that is super, super impressive. But as we've been uh, witnessing so far right now, Vampire, they are 30 points ahead of third place. That is nearly unheard of in a stage like this where we have 18 teams competing, the best out of their regions, absolutely insane. Yeah, and after match, I think it was match three, we thought, okay, Vampire Esports is performing really well, but Star Wars Esports, it's also being super, super consistent. They ended up getting those back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back right. third place finishes. But after that, they ended up with the 15th place, zero Illums, and then the ninth place, seven Illums. Yeah, they were able to make up some points there in regards to those seven Illums, but Star Wars Esports wants to continue to get within those top five places. Seven, I cannot believe the circle we are seeing right now on our screens. It is more than 500 meters away from our plane path. We have like five teams that's going to be inside the first circle when they land and start looting. This is going to be an insane game. Right now, back to back, they're trying to get redemption. Oh! But just me from Box is able to close that one out. Let's see, he's going to be able to get another one out here. Jayway. I'll try to go for the rest, Risk maybe. me, and he's going to actually be aggressive. He's going to try oh, to go for it. It does backfire. Too. Polo says, sit down. You're not going anywhere. Leave my friends alone. But back guess up. what? Box is going to be oh. able to back it up, too. Oh, oh, my God. I can't believe it. Box Gaming is out in 18th place. Not played more than a couple of minutes. And they are out to our current bottom team. Maybe not after this, but... Back to back have had rough games today. Maybe this one can set them up for greatness here in the last one. Yeah, I mean, if we go look at the record, they have back to back to back to back bad games. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. Hopefully this is the time we're just going to cut that off and then Polo there. I mean, <laughs> good Nine. job back to back. That's what you want to see out of them. And exactly. guess what? Oh, more mayhem. <laughs> they try to rotate and no, it's not going to happen. Back to back, no. not being able to get penalized on that great star. And now it's going to be just J7 by himself. And you know RSG is going to hunt them down as they're looking at them. M16 in hand. Two of the guys are very low. DD and GZ. They are low, but they're pushing up. J7 holding the stairs. Right now, M16, no first dates. It's in a rough situation for this one. We hear really uh, we get some and reloading going on downstairs. That's going to be a fun one for the DPS. Ooh. He finds oh. one. Lightning goes down, goes deep. This is exactly what I love to see in this situation here. First player, when you have a compound breach like this, first player always goes deep. So he's going to be focused on, and then the rest of the guys can just surge in. So not even, they're able to secure everything. They're able to stay four guys alive here. Fantastic play and fantastic executions by Reckons. Yeah, and I mean, it, it goes to show these teams are here for a reason, right? You, they are the original winners from their PMPLs in early, in pretty much the spring split. So everybody currently on point, and I'm so glad you broke that down, that push, because you usually don't really see that from other teams. And while we're at it, let's watch PMWI together. Complete daily missions to earn points once enough points are accumulated. Tap on the rewards icon to claim the corresponding reward. Yeah, and you can participate in the event solo or as a team. And obviously, if you're playing as a team, it's going to be a little bit easier maybe to get the reward. Yeah, and while you're at it, I mean, I know I play PUBG Mobile myself, and I know we're big into the skins. There is going to be a sale period between August 4th to August 13th. 50% off PMWI packs get a set straight away and five chances to draw a PMWI treasure chest. Yeah, there's also a sale on the PMWI packs. You have six chances to draw the PMWI treasure chests.
So, so much stuff going on. I mean, between August 4th and August 13th, all the users in the region of the top three teams will have a chance to win a prize, maximum of one award per user. So uh, you, you best believe, I mean, back to back, please. I, I live in NA. Um, yeah, I just want to get uh, <laughs> I want to get one free award. Please. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's see this again here. The denial of the rotation, trying to get deeper. Reckons just saying no to back to back and the cleanup. But I will say this. Back to back, they gave four points. So getting four points in one game is better than the nine they've gotten so far in the five other games. But I really hope that back to back, they're going to be able to step it back up, go back to the hotel, go back, learn some of what they've been taking some of the situations today, and also look at the games because they have been super intricate and super special. Some of the situations we've seen is wild and nearly unheard of in some of the games that we've had. And I wonder if after seeing, if them possibly seeing a little, little bit, right? They saw themselves in last place. They did have a great start with those four Ilums. They should have just slowed it down a little bit, but maybe they didn't want to. Maybe they just wanted to go for it, and ultimately they didn't really were able to scout what was going on around them. The other team was able to scout. They heard exactly. those conscious. They knew that somebody was there, and they took advantage of everything. So back to back, I'm pretty sure that if they go back and watch that VOD, Hopefully, they're going to be able to learn a lot for tomorrow. They, they can still have a chance. Yeah, it's just the perfect play by Regans, right? Yep. You see the kill feed. You hear the shots coming out as well. You're able to third party that situation while they're broken vest, not that much loot. So it's uh, well executed by back to back in the situation inside with box, but Regans just third party them in a perfect time. All right, let's see what Donus is able to do. And so far, what we've had. We've had Vampire Esports and Falcon Esports. They have been doing extremely well right now sitting in the top, but we have a really, really close top five still. Stalwart, Box, and Donuts basically within three points of each other from 53 to 52 to 50 points seven. That's super impressive as well. And obviously they are fighting for those top spots to make sure they can get to the after party. And that's where all the fun is at. Oh yeah, that's definitely where all the fun's gonna be. And I'm gonna be looking actually at the teams that are currently like 12 and 18, right? They, starting off with RSG, they have 24 points, and then you have back to back there with nine points all the way at the bottom. If this, if any of these teams are able to kind of just pull out a great last game here on day one, it's gonna set them in such a great position for tomorrow to at least strike and get themselves within the top seven. I mean, we saw what happened with Morph. They ended up, they started the first two matches zero points. And after that, guess what? They got a chicken dinner. They were able to get 22 points, and they were able to at least push themselves up to eight. So one game can definitely change the luck of a lot of these teams that are currently between 12 and 18. All right, Aiton, what are you able to do here? Circle is closing, and it's a wild one. Obviously, a lot of teams are coming in from the southwest. Our plane path was far west, and our circle first one pops super far east. A lot of teams are setting themselves up. There's a lot of really good compounds in these situations. Some prefer to play high ground. One of them is Team Soul. We see them right now. They get the information from a ton. The question is, are they going to take it to them? Are they going to wait for the circle? Or what's going to happen in this one here? And uh, I think they're going to want to just keep going. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, they're getting information. They're going to go deeper. Yep. Try to scout for some better compounds. Nick McGalaxy, as you see, also trying to get some more out of it. Potential drive bys going on, maybe. They see a solo car. That means potential free points. Omega and Soul, ooh, they're chasing. Chasing they a lot chasing. right now. Oh, that's a good turn. They didn't expect that one. And right now, Omega just trying to Damn. make sure he gets away. I'm actually surprised Nick and Galaxy wanted to take on that fight because guess what? They're going to leave their backs just absolutely exposed from all the other teams that are on that higher hill. And now, if they wanted to move, guess what? You're going to be stuck right there. You're not going to be able to move anywhere. They know where you're at. And luckily for them, they were able to secure their vehicles in a way where their tires are not going to get popped. Exactly. All right. Circle is closing. Another 10 seconds or so. And we're going to see the next one. You can see a lot of teams obviously betting on. It's going to go center because if they're able to close one out early, one of the compounds that is good. It's going to be super important, but it pops somewhat center, but still a little bit southeast. We're going to have a lot of compounds close to prison open and other teams that were center before. They have to shift a little bit further east if they want to continue to have some of those compounds. And the team that I'm actually intrigued to see what's going to happen here with this rotation is going to be Stalwell Esports. I mean, they <laughs> once again, they have absolutely nobody in their way of being able to rotate into that circle. They are going to have mail to themselves. And after that, they can take their time to just loot and secure more utilities. Because with the way we're seeing right now, a lot of people are playing that middle. If They're, they're going to need smokes at the end. I'm, I just got a feeling they're going to need a lot of smoke grenades at the end. And Star Wars Force might be able to position themselves in a good way with all the fights that are about to ensue.
All right, RSG reckons on screen. It's lightning. With lightning reflexes, obviously. Virtual gaming squads are the pull up here on the high ground compound. Let's see if happening. It's gonna happen here with that. It's mansion. It's in the garage. Virtual gaming squad. Oh, decides oh. to actually throw the grenade somewhere else, trying to fake him out. And guess what? His friends are gonna be coming over. It's gonna. RSG is gonna have to That's backfire clever. a little bit more. What I mean. What I mean. Trick by. Virtual Gaming Squad, the other two players, Luigi and also Yafaz, they're staying behind. They they don't want to move into Oof. this fight. Inside Mansion, now just trading nades, utility back and forth. A lot of smokes coming out, maybe potentially as well from Virtual Gaming Squad. Maybe they want to disengage from this fight here. Oh, now Buggy is out there, one shot still staying. They just want to completely get away from this one here. One shot with some damage. GZ Ooh. finds Gaddafi and one shot with a nade that is huge for them. And Regans, potentially able to close some more points out. Oh my god, no. finds another one! Oh, I can't believe it. Virtual Gaming Squad in shamble after this one. And to be honest, Avenger, I don't know if a Virtual Gaming Squad was thinking about this. Those two players stayed there way too long, and the other players stayed in the building for too long. I mean, I, I, maybe they were expecting RSG to push out and they were right. going to be able to get an angle on them. It didn't end up happening. And RSG, guess what? You're going to be happy. You were able to at least get an nail them. You might not be able to get the second one. And then you're going to get a free rotation out of it. Oh, they're actually going to be aggressive. They're going to continue on that fight. Lightning does crash into the rock. He's going to backfire for him. He does get knocked. Baluji oh. tried to get another knock. He gets it too. He's going to try to secure this ellipse, but he needs to be careful because Flower C was shooting at him. There is some players that have an angle limit. Oh, oh Faluji! So close, yet so far away from being able to find that cover. Gaddafi, last player for Virtual Gaming Squad. Can he make something happen? Or oh, is he going to be able to pick up the pieces left on the ground? There are two knocks right now for Regans, DD, and Lightning. G set is going to be able to push into that garage. Let's see if Flower C is going to cover that angle that Gaddafi potentially has. He has the information now, and now he's going to close it out. Gaddafi wants to go for the, the rest, of course, upstairs, but Flower C at, wants to deny that. And at this point, Regis has already just picked up everybody. They're replenishing the cell. Flower C, though, does end up getting hurt. He's going to have to slow down a little bit here. He's going to come a grenade. He oh, does throw that grenade perfectly. G C, wow. Talk about knowing where the enemy team is going to be. He read that perfectly. Uh, so well played by him. Now, Enigma Galaxy waiting for the circle to pop. It's going to pop and it's going to go slightly south, but still wide, wide center. A lot of teams could go into the prison here in this situation. It's very, very centered on that. Stalwart looking good. Enigma Galaxy could be going early. Bivo Keith still scouting a little bit. A lot of teams are on the northwest side of the circle, so there is a lot of space on the southeast side of this new pub here. With Star Wars Esports, I want to figure out if they're going to go into actual prison or if they're going to try to take that mountain, that overview, and just set themselves up. It seems like they want to be at the base of it. And we're going back to the RSGGC. I mean, talk about just reading that player like a book, and he did just that. The grenade was wonderful. And overall, RSG, what, what a play out of them. I felt like Virtual Gaming Squad once again just played that absolutely awful, taking off too long and being out too spread away. For them, just you, you either want to take the fight or you don't want to take the fight. Hopefully, tomorrow we'll see a little bit more certainty out of that team. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's see what they're able to do here. Where while we look at how the different players play the game, some play three fingers, some of the wild ones play four. I'm not even close to being able to do that. These guys are just wild, and the speed they're able to put onto this screen here is obviously amazing. Again, thanks to Sony Xperia for joining us here, sponsoring the event, the official smart smartphone partner for the Gamers 8 and PMWI. I was looking at Omega's hand cam there. I thought he was only going to be playing thumbs. I was like, wow, that's impressive. At this level, you're used to seeing people just playing with four fingers or six all the time. It's been a while since I've seen just a thumb player. And as I say that, I think... Another one. I, as I say that, Missile might actually be one of those players with just... Uh, just Yeah, look at this setups. They're only playing with two thumbs. And then you oh, go they have, they have so, the, so many some variations. Of them already. Yeah, it's crazy. And that's the beautiful thing, right? You can set up the game exactly how you want to play it. Put the buttons around however you prefer it. You can play gyro, no gyro. And obviously some of the best players, they're able to use three, four fingers and the gyro. So that is uh, the wild thing. Okay, let's see what is going to happen the rest of the game here. We have Aton. 
They are putting out a little bit of bullets towards the Donuts guys. They are trying to rotate in. They're trying to get into a better position on the western side. Try to get into shelter and maybe deeper in. And that's going to be a hard one for them. They have a lot of teams ahead of them that potentially could be shooting in their direction. Lightning found Morph. Say is down. It's not good for Morph. So see, I mean, the I'm distance. intrigued to see what uh, Atan Esports is going to be able to do here. This is a team that is so consistent when it comes to Latin America. For the longest time, it was all about Team Queso and then Atan Esports. That's the main yeah. team. But it seems to be, at least to me, from what we've seen so far of the previous Globals events that they have played, they, they just farm in the region. Right now, they haven't been able to find the groove here in regards to just global events against other regions. Wow. Hopefully, this will be different. And when you talk about a shift, oh, man. South War Esports, they really don't have to do much. They're just going to try to go up on that mountain right next to uh, Prison. Yeah, exactly. They could potentially take the Lion's Rock, but I think they're going to keep maintain control on the right side, basically the east side of the Prison Hill there. That's where some of the better areas are. Falcon sending it in. Powerful gun down to DD. Potentially going to lose him. I don't see them surviving that one. DD, more shots coming in. Finding Never Alone as well. Falcon is losing multiple players in this situation here. Flush coming in elimination is confirmed. And let's see uh, if they're going to be able to take further or put further damage into Falcons here. Oh, Yusuf finds Flower C. And they're turning it around potentially. And I'm glad I think Team Falcon decided to take on this fight. Lightning almost, almost getting caught. Team Falcon, though, surprisingly for them to actually lose the players with the way they've been playing recently. I think they wanted to maybe hop out the cars a little bit sooner, but they might right. have seen them one key. I just drive by them and that they were like, okay, we, we don't want to get sandwiched, so let's kind of keep on moving. It ended up working out for RSG. Yeah, exactly. Dumb one Kia rotating in their Kias, and they're now inside the prison area, holding down one of these oh. situations. Atan losing multiple players. That oh. is so unfortunate. Dumb one Kia is able to clean that one up. And They're going to be walking away with about. eliminations, exactly. Now, one defeat for them. We're down to 14 teams. There's 50 players left alive still in this tiny circle. As you can see, there's so many teams trying to figure out where we're going to go, where we're going to try to get in. And only a few teams have decided to try to crash into the prison. But obviously, they've seen the kill feed. They've seen how many players are going down rapidly. And that could be some of the crashes there in the center. Now, Vampire Esports, your current leader in terms of total points. There are four guys strong, zero eliminations so far in this one, seven, but they are maintaining a lot of control here on that south side. They are, and they're being sneaky. They're tr not trying to take a fight where they might end up getting damaged or they might end up getting hurt. And now we're going to go to Donuts against Vivo Kid. Vivo Kid, one of the teams from Brazil. And guess what? Diego doesn't really know. Oh, Diego's going to be able to turn him. Can Diego actually secure this knock? I think he would. Oh, he wasn't oh. able to, but he decides to back off. He needs to heal up. This is going to be. Interesting if Diego, what is Diego going to be able to do? As you see, McGrellan just waiting patiently. Missile, though, with the grenade. Can he hit Diego behind that vehicle? He's oh, not a able nade. to hit him. That's a good nade. Another one. He uses so much utility to confirm this. Another uh, Molotov as well. Diego walks away from it, pushes some damage into it. He's going to walk around. He's going to swift. Oh, my God. He finds it. He gets oh. him down, though. Missile have HP. He's going to confirm the elimination there. And now the rest of the Vivo Kid guys are trying to get... Most of it is all missile. He's under a lot of pressure. He goes down himself. Cielo is able to open it up. And I was wondering, why didn't Vivo Key do, do this a little bit sooner? I feel like they went in on too long. You knew exactly where he was. You should have just went for it. Vivo Key now trying to make amends for losing that player. And there you go. That might have been the reason because they are getting shot from behind. Vivo Key playing this a little bit slower. Team Soul, you see Team Soul getting in a fight there with Nigma Galaxy. Just so many fights currently going on. Now, Otto, we've seen what he's been able to do in previous matches. Can he do that again? Can he clutch up for his team against Vivo Keed? Oh. He is! He takes the fight! He Oh, he is able to confirm the Ilum, though, before he ends up getting eliminated himself. Uh, so unfortunate for the Vivo Keed stars. They have to make a situation where they are resting one player and then they try to take the fight. Meanwhile, they should have gone three players, focus on the fight, try to clean up and then go for the rest afterwards, I feel like. But uh, unfortunately for them, it doesn't work out as well. Still survive, get the points on the board. Next circle shift, it goes north in this new circle and prison is a huge part of this end game here.
It is, and I think one one of the teams. I'm just gonna go back to them. I've been talking about them the whole match. Star Wars Esports. What are they gonna do? I think they're just gonna try to set themselves up on that prison mountain, but they're gonna have to be careful. I mean, TJB is right there. 52 Esports is very close to them as well. I'm intrigued to see what's gonna be happening here as we do see Wild guys. I mean, outside of the circle, they need to try to get in there quickly. Oh. Utility coming out towards Falcons. Crowd favorite right now. Second place overall. TJP putting some uh, damage into 52. This is a pull up, Alec. I've never seen one. You push Yusuf gone down. It's a trade, basically. Damar, last player. Is he going to be able to do something? He finds another one. I can't believe it. It takes RSG down single handedly. Team Falcons close them out. Team Falcon just continuing to surprise people. And guess what? They're able to do it again, winning those 1v1s and getting those trades if they do end up losing somebody if one of their teammates ends up getting knocked and then guess what I was talking 52. about earlier Star Wars Esports against 52 East Esports they're gonna go up against each other Enigma trying to figure out how they're gonna be able to break into this but it is Vampire Esports that they are gonna be going up against that's a team that's just really hot right now uh, really interesting another part is that we have a lot of teams that are full form and alive Five teams, Wildcats, Nick McGalaxy, Vampire Esports, TGP, Starwood, four rivals as well. Four oh. players strong here, Seven. That's going to be a huge impact in the late game. It really is. Let's see this fight. What's going to happen? Team Falcons gets eliminated. Three Elims, though, and a ninth place finish for them. Very Not respectable. Not a bad way to go out considering their previous performances. And Vampire Esports, now here comes the push. What's going to happen with Nick McGalaxy? We do see two players knocked. Oh. Big but lower, being able to knock one of the other players in, that's going to back him up a little bit. Maybe it forces Vampire Esports to slow down a little bit, but Vampire Esports does not want to oh, slow it down. It's not worries Esports. I think it's currently being able to get an angle on him. Yeah, they're putting on pressure from multiple angles in this situation. Lord and Freak, last players from Nick McGalaxy, and Fluke and Stone, this last two players from Vampire. Who closes this one out? Stout oh. inside. That's an insane shot by Freak. Vampire Esports has gone down in eighth place with two eliminations. Freak with the grenade earlier, we saw everybody. And look at the circle rotation. I mean, only Wildcats. Only Wildcats is the team that's inside that circle. Yeah, that is insane. They're four guys strong, too. Stalwart has to move out of it. Vivo Keed has to move out of it. Nick McGalaxy has to move out. So insane for this one. And the question is, do they focus on fighting each other rather than trying to get into the circle? I can see a situation where Enigma Galaxy gets into the circle and maybe gatekeep some of the other teams. But all the other teams, they are going to assure mutual destruction against each other. Damon Kia, Stalwart, Vivo Keed as well. They're going to be in a rough situation. Nice shots coming in there. And this and four Wildcats, rivals. I mean, Wildcats is just currently setting themselves up. They should be able to get a lot of the Illums here. Teams are going to try to push up on them. You can see that. No, no matter who just passes by them, they're going to make sure they shoot them and just back them up a little bit. And Nick McGalaxy, I, I'm glad you pointed that out. I think they are going to try to just get into that and tr try to keep an eye on, on some of the other teams that are going to be coming out of prison. I mean, we see down one and Kia. They're going to have to push out. They have to be careful, though. It's Star Wars Esports. Just so much madness going to happen in the next two minutes. All right, Star Wars as well fighting versus Fall Rivals right now. They want to be the only team on the Northeastern edge, but still the pressure is coming in for Wildcats, as you were pointing out, Seven. They're trying to make sure that they don't even get off this hill. They want to get as many eliminations as they can for this one. Well, Star Wars fighting to stay alive, fighting for the eliminations. Fall Rivals, 10 eliminations for them so far. Super impressive for the team coming out of Malaysia. And did, and here we go. Oh. Even though they did have 10 elements, guess what Star Wars Esports says? Oh, slow down, boys. We want to be able to get some elements too. And you can see them just pushing together, making sure they secure those elements too for rivals. How are they going to react to that? And what's interesting right now is that we have Nygma Galaxy actually pushing on Wildcats. We can't see it, but that's going to be a big oh. fight. Here we go, Nygma Galaxy with a big push. Can they secure some knocks? It seems like they're truly just trading back and forth. The boys can oh. he clutch up? He's not. Nick McGalaxy lore being able to secure the knock as well. It's just one player left there. Boren, can he clutch it up? A 2v1. Oh, the utility is coming out as well. Boren, last I think he's hit by the utility. I think Wildcats is taking so much fire. Boren is down to no health. He's bound as well. It's Nick McGalaxy with their pull up onto the Wildcats. They're able to take this huge terrain away from them. And they're setting themselves up for the win. The only way to win the game was to do that. 
Uh, I'm with you. I thought they were going to be patient because they saw just Wildcats taking all, shooting everybody, being distracted by what Star Wars Esports was doing, what Dam One was going to do as well, what four rivals. But they decided to take their future into their hands, went for it, and it ended up working out for him. If I'm not mistaken, they, they only lost one player, so that oh, is a the great Nate. push for me. The Nate! Can he do it? Oh, oh my god! Multiple nades coming out. It's only Junai left from Dam One Kia. More utilities being thrown at him. And he's gonna throw jump. a jump, and oh my god, they found him there actually with the last utility from action here. Stalwart with a huge game, 10 eliminations here, 7. And now it's gonna be one player for four rivals trying to rotate into that circle. I think he's gonna be able to make it there. Vivo Keed, McGrelly, staying alive, shooting at people actually. I thought he was gonna try to be quiet, but he's not. He needs to be careful. Star Wars Esports is right next to him, and they oh. know where he's at now. Oh, oh it's found. I it's like a game of hide and seek. He didn't hide that well. He's trying to seek for some kills now. Fall Rivals putting some pressure onto Stalwart. He's the last player from... Oh, he's finding one action has fallen. That's not that good. So Stalwart finds one of the guys from Nygma Galaxy, though. It is going to be a rough situation for both of them. Let's see what Nygma Galaxy is going to be able to get out of this one. Stalwart looking strong, though. And if Stalwart is able to pick up that player that went down, this oh. is going to be huge for them. Here we go. That could be Boki good. OP. Can he say... Oh! Close. Pika, close, close, close. Pika playing the uh, the anchor angle there. He has to, to make sure they're getting the rest off as well. And that is four rivals out. Nice try, though. I want to say for Roki up. Now, Nick McGalaxy is finding one more. Top not being able to get behind that cover. That's going to hurt them big time. If he would have been able to get behind that cover and get that angle, it would have been huge. Nick McGalaxy getting a bit of a chance. He's going to come down to who's able oh. to get the knocks. And he get it. No! Nick McAlex is not able to get the knock. He gets knocked instead, and I think this might end up going Star Wars Esports way. You know they're going to be aggressive. They know they might have the numbers. There you go. They're able to finish off that player action with the angle top Pika as well. Star Wars Esports being able to knock that, pretty much eliminate that Utility, player before rivals was huge for them. Amadi, can he make the dream happen here for Nick McAlex's utility coming out of this? Working quite well for them. He has one more nade. If he hits... One of them, it's gonna be huge. This next knock could be massive. Action though. Oh, oh my god, god he hits it! Hamadi with the double nade, he gets traded though. And it's down to a one versus two for Nick McAlexy and Stalwart Esports. Talk about a turn of events being able to get two knocks there with that grenade. Nick McGalaxy, where has this been all day? Even if you guys don't get the chicken there. More utility. I'm impressed. He's he's getting ready to throw that other nade. Can he get another two man? Knock. Ooh. Oh, so close. That is a lot of damage being put out of the Molotov. is doing so much damage to Rauf. Hamadi with another nade in hand. He finds one. Top's gone down. He has more utility to be used, though. Rauf is able to heal it off. And more utility. This is such a huge game of utility. Rauf with the push. This could be huge. Is he going to be Raouf. able to do it? He's going to be taken down. That is unfortunate. Hamadi, last player. And that is insane. That is so well played by Star Wars Esports. Star Wars Esports being able to secure 15 Ilums and the chicken dinner. We were talking about if it was going to happen today after how they started the tournament with three third place finishes. Guess what? They're able to close it with that first place.